Paul Tamban, and I'm the Chief Instructor at the Gordon Gym. Today, myself and Jerry Lloyd will be demonstrating some techniques and uh, hopefully teach you to be a good Muay Thai fighter. Okay. First thing we're going to work with is try with his posture, your fighting stance. Okay, most people are right-handed, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over the right-handed stance. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and stand with your feet slightly, uh, slightly wider, shoulder width apart, as natural as possible. You don't want to be stiff, you want to be relaxed. Now you're going to bring your dominant leg, which in most cases is your right leg, you bring it back. Okay. Now, now what you want to do is you want to come up on the ball of your right foot just slightly, and keeping your weight even between both your knees. Okay. Now what, do, what Jerry's going to do is she's going to turn her shoulders a little bit to the right so she's Shows a shorter angle, a shorter, smaller target. Now, by turning your shoulders this way, the target will go from this size to this size. Now, what she's going to do, one of the most important things, is she's going to drop her chin down. As if when she was younger, her parents used to yell at her and get in trouble, she put her head down. Now, with her right hand, she's going to bring her right hand up by her ear or her temple. Notice that her elbow is pointing straight down. From her knuckle here, her elbow, her hip, and her knee, and her toe are all aligned. Now, with the left hand, she's going to bring it up directly in front of her face. Then she's going to move it to the left so she can see her face clearly with both her hands. Notice it looks like one, zero, one. Okay? This is a basic fighting stance. No matter how many punches, kicks that you throw, go oh, jack cross. We return back in the same position, jack cross, jack cross. Now, from this position, you can throw various combinations, such as the jab cross, just as uh, Jerry executed, jab cross hook, and also like a long knee. Same angle, jab cross. Jab cross hook. Long knee. Okay. All right, while you are in your fighting stance, you want to maintain good balance. In Thai boxing, Thai boxers stand up straighter than a regular boxer. A regular boxer would stand a lot lower. The reason this is, is that the boxer does not have to worry about kicking or being kicked. And the footwork's a lot differently. In Thai boxing, she has to worry about me kicking her, her opponent kicking her, or her kicking her opponent. If she were in a lot deeper stance, for her to execute a kick, she would have to stand up first and then execute her kick. Versus in the regular stance, all she has to do is throw her hips at the kick. Same thing on the other side. Notice that her weight is evenly distributed between both her knees. She's not leaning forward or backwards. She's standing straight up with her chin down and her hands up. Jab across the knee. It gives her balance and she can return back into her fighting posture. Okay. Now, move it. In the fighting stance, if you want to move to the left, and call it shuffling, you will move the foot in the direction you're going. Basically, she wants to move to the left, she's going to move her left foot. Step. And her right foot follows. Notice that she stays in the same posture. Her feet do not change the, the, the distance from each other or the angle from each other. Step. Okay. Same thing, she steps to the right. She'll move the right foot first, and then the left foot will follow. The next movement in the fighting position is shuffling forwards and backwards. Okay, I want you to move this that way. Now, when you're moving forward, what you want to do first is you want to push off your rear leg. As you're pushing, you're going to slightly pick up your left foot, and as it lands, you're back in your posture. You don't want to go forward very far, you just want to take small steps forward. Okay. Going backwards the same way. If she wants to move backwards, she's going to push on her front leg and step backwards. The reason she wants to stay in this posture is that whenever she stops, backwards, stop. she can throw a right hand or throw a right round kick. Same thing going forward. 